we're what we're showing today is we're focusing in on the uh, Y dock because it's so appropriate for this audience. We have a number of other connectivity products, but today we're choosing to focus on the Y dock because it's MacWorld, because the iPod's a wonderful market for a lot of reasons, and uh, we we think we've got a unique solution. The product itself has obviously a, a made for iPod dock. Um, so we've worked very closely with Apple and their developer uh, relations communities to uh, to make sure that the, the uh, product is the proper specs and proper documentation and, 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 and is properly licensed for made for iPod. Um, then you're able to charge the uh, the Apple iPod. Um, transmit uh, audio out so that you can connect it to your stereo, transmit S-video out so that you can connect it to your TV. And the, the, the different thing about this is that we're able to wirelessly sync your iPod to your Mac or PC, which is typically uh, located in a different room. Uh, it is available in the U.S. right now. It will be available in Europe in early February, so within a month. Uh, we do have European office uh, and uh, European distributions coming together now. Install the, the system. You put a CD from Silex into your PC or your Mac. It wakes up and says we have this installation script. Um, you, uh, uh, as part of that process, connect your iPod to the PC or Mac to make sure that the PC knows that there's a, a device out there to mount, um, and the, it actually transfers a, a little file onto your iPod that, that is then read by the dock. The dock is a fairly sophisticated uh, device with the wireless protocol and a little, a little embedded processor and so forth. So once the PC or Mac understands that there's this USB device out there, they're sort of paired based on this configuration script. So then when you walk in and you put your iPod into your into your dock, you can hit the synchronization button that's on the dock and it will wake up iTunes and iTunes will synchronize based on the default synchronization settings. So you have settings. to push the button on the dock to start the synchronization. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is you can initiate the synchronization from your PC or, or Mac. So if you're sitting on iTunes, and your iPod is sitting in the living room in the dock, it still looks like it's directly connected via USB, when in essence it's connected over your wireless Ethernet. Right. So and then the, it wakes so, up. Yeah, and then it just behaves just like it would if it was just normally connected. The, the, the more typical use case is that if you're in a group setting, you know, let's say if you're an acquaintance of mine, a friend of mine, you come over to, your, to my house and say, hey, I've got my a cool new song list, a cool new video on my iPod. You simply plug it in and you've got it available on my stereo, on my TV, so that we can, um, you know, share that experience. Okay. Uh, but the synchronization process you would probably do back at home you know, earlier in the day or, you know, later in another time of the day, right? So the wireless part is 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 for the, the ease of use for the person in that home. I've got it set up in my living room. So I have my, my stereo across the room, just like you'd say, but I've got a, uh, a table next to my couch that has my, my dock, and I've gotten longer cables, and it runs around the edge of the wall, works just great. We're demoing a, uh, a streaming uh, video proof of concept uh, uh, yesterday at CES. So we're, we're already doing some of that, that level of stuff in a proof of concept mode. Uh, so we're, tra we're, we're looking after the digital signage market, which is a, a specific use case that requires some of the things that we offer. We started in Osaka, and the problem that we were solving for the, the world or for the, for the printer industry was to uh, allow printers to connect to LANs. This was 20 years ago when all printers were serial. They had the big serial plug, and we said, oh, we know how to do Ethernet, so we'll do serial to Ethernet. And from there, we just kept on growing. We, we uh, adopted, uh, you know, Ethernet to USB, Ethernet to wireless, 802.11, ABG, soon in. So we're growing in that area. And one of the interesting things about the uh, the iPod is that it is, in its at its heart, a USB device. It's a disk drive, and it's got the USB interface. And, uh, we believe that um, that it, there's some value to connecting the iPod to a network. Um, our vision for the iPod is to uh, make it more of a, um, a living room, buy your stereo, buy your TV, a multi-user, multi-participant 
device, which is a paradigm change for the iPod. And it's really important to understand is today's paradigm for the iPod is single user, you know, small screen, earphones, move it into the living room, it's something that you share, hey, let's share this pl cool playlist, look at the video that I downloaded today, you know, more of an interactive multi-user participation tool. Our primary products are um, print servers, so this is connecting printers to Ethernet or uh, wireless Ethernet. Uh, device servers, which is connecting a, just basic USB devices such as printers, scanners, faxes, cameras, uh, flash storage, or USB disk based storage to networks, which is the, the 2000s behind you. Um, and WIDOC, and uh, oh, we have uh, some uh, biometric products. So this is biometric security, fingerprint scan types of products. Again, this, this uh, maps back to our expertise in security, network and security. Uh